It's a brand new week and the last Monday of 2019. I'm Harianto Diman coming to you live from the Straits Times newsroom. You're watching The Big Story where I'll have my newsroom colleagues to join me to discuss the hottest topics of the day and explain why it matters. Singtel and Grab are applying for a digital full bank license together, deepening their venture into the financial sector. A digital full bank license will allow both companies to serve retail customers, including taking deposits and lend money to companies. The joint venture will see ride-hailing firm Grab hold a 60% stake, while the Republic's largest telco will hold the remaining 40%. Both companies said the digital bank will aim to cater to the needs of digital-first customers and offer relevant products and services to consumers and enterprises. The Monetary Authority of Singapore announced in June that it will issue up to five new digital bank licenses to players who may not have an established record in banking. Singtel and Grab will know if their application has been approved by mid next year. To discuss more on this joint venture, we have journalist Ao Cheng Wei. Welcome, Cheng Wei. Thank you, Harian. Cheng Wei, first up, if you could briefly explain to us, what is a digital full bank license? Well, a digital full bank license issued by the MAS will actually allow um, MR, Grab and Singtel, mm -hmm. if approved, uh, to basically take retail or take deposits from retail customers. Mm -hmm. They can also lend money to companies. Okay. Basically, we should think of, of them trying to be like the banks that we are familiar with, okay. DBS, um, OCBC and UOB. The only difference here is that they will not actually have a pl physical place of business. Okay. So unlike the three local banks that have branches, this one will purely be a um, virtual bank. Right, so it runs a uh, digitally online platform in that sense? Yes, that's correct. So with this joint venture, uh, Chung Wei, help us to understand how can it benefit uh, consumers? So there'll be more options mm. for them to, for, uh, for retail customers to decide where they want to put their money. Mm. Uh, we have heard that digital-only banks tend to offer better interest rates because of their lower operating costs. Right. Since they don't have to have physical places of business, they can perhaps offer customers even better interest rates. They are also supposed to provide more customizable and also more palatable options right. for customers. Um, an example will be say, there are certain British digital only banks that allow their, custo uh, their customers to split bills yeah. on their mobile phone right after okay. they pay for an item. Uh -huh. So that is something that perhaps um, more innovative ways of Grab and Singtel if they get a license for them to consider Right, right. Attracting customers. Right. And Chiu, of course, uh, that being said, you know, beneficial to the consumers, how then does it also benefit this uh, joint venture to the two companies? Because uh, earlier on, you know, we had this little chat yes. where you say that uh, this joint venture could possibly also help in their financial position. Could you explain more on that? So I think both Grab and Singtel, they are looking to new businesses to mm. grow basic their, uh, their profits. So for Grab, it has tried. It has. It's more popular for its right healing and also its delivery services in Singapore. Yeah. For it to base, uh, to be able to turn a bigger profit or better profit or even make its way to profitability, mm. it needs to look at the financial service sector, which in Singapore has been growing. Yeah. As for Singtel, I think that its telco business has been hit uh, with disruption and the such. So it's also looking to grow in the financial services sector. So both companies actually have e-wallets already. Mm -hmm. So Grab has GrabPay and Singtel has Singtel Dash. Yeah. So GrabPay and bo both are pretty popular in Singapore. Right. So I think for them to venture into this deeper together, deeper together sh they are aiming to perhaps grow new lines of businesses that mm -hmm. can help them. Right. Uh, definitely a very exciting uh, times ahead yes. in terms of uh, the financial uh, industry, right? Yes, yes. Of course, uh, it still remains to be seen as to whether uh, the, approve, uh, the application will be approved. Uh, that will come mid uh, next year, right, in mid 2020. Well, thank you so much, uh, Cheng Wei, for coming on to the show to explain uh, to us a bit more about uh, the joint venture. Now, to read more on this, you can head on to our website, straightstimes.com.